Okay, yeah, Paul Venice. He's made a lot of um, inadvertent threats today, yesterday. And he has made a lot of calls. He's made about 30 calls to my business phone. I don't know what rat has given him my phone, but I've not, I've not given him my um, phone number, yeah? He has no right to phone me and try and intimidate me by trying to make out some um, private conversation to sort out shit man to man, you know? Let's put it this way. He is lucky I'm not in the, in the prime of my life. Because you know what? It wouldn't end the way he wanted it to end. You know, I don't take threats. I don't take Im intimidation lightly. Yeah? This man has gone out of his way to make threats of violence, threats of intimidation against me. For what? For why? Having a difference of opinion, yes? Having a difference of opinion. Venice is coming down to you. Venice is going to do this. Listen, listen, listen. I'm a grown man. I'm a grown ass man. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to slap me around and get away with it. Venice or anybody. I will defend myself by any means necessary. Yeah? If not physically, some other way. I'm not here to be slapped around like some fucking bum. We're not children. We are not children. We're not making threats in a playground, yeah? If someone fucking puts their hands on me, it's fair game. Whatever I've got, whatever I've got in my pocket, whatever I can do, whoever I know, won't be getting away with it. And yeah, I'm not the toughest guy, and I'm not, I don't claim to be the toughest guy. But anyone that comes to me in a threatening manner, like any man with a family, they're going to defend themselves, yeah? Yeah? Alright? He's a stronger man. I think we all know that. <laughs> yeah? The guy fights professionally. But for him to call my business phone 24-7 because of some little fucking rat give him my number, how fucking dare he? How fucking dare he? That is my business phone. And I only answer it to business colleagues. Not some jumped up little fucking squirt that thinks he can ring whenever it suits him. Do you understand me? Do you understand me, boy? I'm fucking your older. Have some respect on my name. Listen, like I said, if I was in my prime, you wouldn't be talking to me like that. This is going to be the end of it today, alright, as far as I'm concerned. You can claim you're in London next week, the week after, or the week after that. But it doesn't bother me one tiny iota. And whatever will be, will be. So, at the end of the day, don't come here with your pretend nice guy bollocks, because it don't work. It don't work with me. It might work with your little fanboys, that crawl and lick your bum for everything you say, but it don't work with me. You know? I can look after my own. Because you're some fucking martial arts kickboxer, 270 pounds steroid bodybuilder. You do not scare anybody, mate. Anybody. Let me tell you this. Nobody makes threats to me. And I'm, you know, I'm saying this on the most polite manner possible. But I will defend myself. If anyone comes to me in a threatening manner, that looks like they're going to attack me. They will go down on the spot. So my final analysis to this bullshit is let it be, let it be, because I won't be bullied, I won't be manipulated into saying sorry for what I believe in.
I'm a man of words and I'm a man of courage. And I do not back down to some fucking steroid bullies and all their fangirls telling me that I should apologise. You won't, and I repeat, won't be ever get an apology from me, alright? Ever in person or behind the camera. Yeah?